Hey, what's up everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Merge Dragons and this is the teaser video for the upcoming Toys Galore event of August 2021. It's going to be starting in a day in 23 hours from now. So I'll see you at 3 p.m. New York time on Friday to get this event started off together. Here, we're going to be, we're going to be live streaming at 3 p.m. New York time to get this started for the first uh, 45, 60 minutes of the event. We're going to get the first moves going on. And of course, the first two things you want to do in the beginning of the event is to get that first and second dragon and the twin life flower. Here for the Toys Galore event, we're going to have the doll dragon. Let's check it out. Here, I've got a doll dragon egg right there, and this is a pretty cool dragon. Here, we've got the level one, the level two, the level three, the level four, and the tier two of the doll dragon is the toy dragon. I've actually played a couple of the toy events in the past, and I've gotten all the way to the level eight toy dragon kid. Super, super adorable there. So if ever you want to get some doll and toy dragons, definitely this weekend is, is an event you do not want to miss. Now when it comes to the event, let's go check out the website to see a couple more tips and strategies and then we'll come back over here. This is my website, toastaboutique.com. This is the previous guide for the toy event that we had in November 2020. We're going to have a little bit of information here that's going to be really useful for us this weekend. And if you want the new up-to-date Clown Key guide, there's going to be an updated link in the video description below for this upcoming weekend. I'm going to be doing a Cloud Key guide and sharing all those 15 Cloud Keys that we're going to need to unlock for this Toys Galore event weekend that we're having. Here, if we check this out, you know, Every week, everybody asks, what item do you not merge right away? Well, that's going to be the little, uh, the level one item right here. Here, the level two uh, toy shop there can be harvested. So here, this is what you're going to want to not merge right away. You know, my technique in the events is I like to focus on orbs first, and then I eventually shift to the point items. So, you know, there's a little strategy that goes within the 72 hour marathon that we've got going on. Here, if we go a little bit further, these are the toy stores. During the last toy event, if I'm not mistaken, we needed the level six giant toy store as a cloud key. Who knows what the cloud keys will be this weekend? And don't rush it. It's better to take it slow than to go a little bit too fast and do a move that you might end up regretting. So don't merge anything too fast. Just do one little merge at a time. When it comes to the point items, we're going to be collecting the toys for points this weekend. Now, technically, these screenshots are a little outdated. They have the old point values. So just a heads up, these numbers, you can't, uh, you can't uh, calculate anything off of those. Um, now, here, whoop -a -days. if we go check this out real quick here, for example, the level 10 car, it's not going to be worth 75,000 points there. It's going to be worth 40,000 points. Here, the level 9 bike, I believe, is worth 12,500 points. So to get all 10 of the rewards for the event, you need 65,000 points. It's either going to be two level 10 cars or one level 10 car and two level 9 bikes. Either way, you have to get five of the level 9 bikes, so you might as well make a five merge to get two of those awesome stellar cars. Yeah! There's also going to be the 10 quests that we have to um, play to get all of the uh, uh, all of the you know event quest special rewards. So here, when it comes to that, let's go check out the quests real quick. So when it comes to the quest, here we've got the first quest. When we start the event, we always have the merge five of anything 150 times quest, the harvest from the twin life flower 200 times, and the heal 35 pieces of land. We're going to get those started slowly but surely, and that's why I like getting the first two dragons and also getting that twin life flower in the beginning of the event so we can start working on those quests. Do your best to make as many five merges as you can along the way. After that, once you finish making 155 merges, then you have to create five of the level seven point items. For this toy event, that's gonna be the roller skate, the level seven point item right over here. So get those merging, uh, you know, slowly but surely work on those point items and uh, yeah, save those cute dolls for those merges once you get that quest there. 
Once you finish getting five of the level seven point items, then we have to harvest from a two by one item, harvestable item that eventually disappears 75 times. So that means in this event, we're gonna have to harvest the large basket. Here, it's a basket with a rocking horse there. That, it's gonna be a, a total of 75 harvests that we need. Each two by one item can be harvested 25 times, so you need at least three of them that are completely full. It's safer to have four just in case, and those are great for getting the level three point items there. So that's the top quest. When it comes to the middle quest here, we have to harvest the twin life flower 200 times, then we have to harvest from the dead plant 75 times. Now, when it comes to the beginning, you know, it's easy to heal the first section of the map until you get to the area where it takes 500 healing power per tile. Once you get to that area, there usually you have had enough sprouts to get the twin life flower, or you should be pretty close. Get the twin life flower and start harvesting those orbs. You're gonna wanna get a level eight life orb of souls or a level nine life orb of heavens. Then you're gonna be able to launch that and it should give you enough dead plants to finish the harvest from the dead plants quest 75 times. There, harvest those brambles. That's gonna give you a bunch of sprouts and then work on getting the brilliant life flower or if you can, the giant life flower. That's gonna be really helpful in getting those orbs. Then you're gonna be harvesting the purple orbs and you're gonna be working on getting a grand total of six life orb of heavens in total. Technically, the third middle quest is going to be to create three life orb of heavens. Since we're making five to six life orb of heavens anyways, I'm not too worried about that. Sometimes I'll create the life orb of heavens before I have the quest. If you make them before you, uh, before you have the quest, then it doesn't count. So make sure you take that into consideration. And then, of course, the bottom quest, it's all healing. Heal 35, heal 350, heal 675, and then last but not least, heal all the land. And that's why you're gonna need a good five to six life orb of heavens. Yeah, so that's gonna be a lot of work this weekend, but we're gonna be having a lot of fun doing that and merging it up. We're gonna be live streaming Friday at 3 p.m. and I think Saturday at 2 p.m. Stay tuned for more information. I'll be updating that as I know more. Oh yeah, I just know we're gonna get this event started off together. Yas queen. When it comes to the toy events, the trophy reward that you can get in the event is the roller skate. Initially, when you get this reward, it's gonna spawn four of the onesie dragon eggs, which are super rare and definitely an egg that if you don't have, you might want to add to your collection. Here, we've got the onesie dragon. So far, I've got the level two and the level three there. So that just goes to show you how rare they are. So this is a great opportunity to get that trophy, to get the four eggs that it spawns initially. Once you have the trophy, then every 10 hours spent in camp, you can tap it for the event special reward items. Here, it looks like I haven't spent enough time in my camp there, but these will give you the uh, level one uh, special reward items. Here, these exciting baskets can be merged into the level two special reward items, and that gives you a chance of getting the doll dragon egg. So super cool there. Otherwise, you get an orb or a dragon tree. Just for fun, I'm curious, I kinda wanna open up this uh, level one special reward item there. Okay, we got a wondrous life orb, meh, and here a uh, nice uh, little dragon tree there. I'll take it. Um, here, I'm gonna go ahead, bubble that wonder, make a little bit of space, and let's check it out. Do we have any other items maybe we could merge together here? Uh, nothing seems to be ready right now. Uh, nothing there. Do we have another one? Yes, okay, perfect. Here, we're gonna merge those. Now we have the level two special reward items. And I'm just gonna get rid of those beautiful dragon fruit. Ah, we just got a dragon tree, okay. Well, you can get a trophy dragon egg from that. So like there, with those moon items, I could've gotten a moon dragon egg. Here, uh, nothing there. Oh, I don't have that many items. Uh, and that's only Two, not enough for a merge, aye, aye, aye. Anyways, you get the gist of it. So there we can get the doll dragon. That's how I've gotten a couple of those doll dragon eggs there so far. This is also gonna be another opportunity to get those owl griffin eggs as well, along with a level two fountain 
and the Golden Midas tree if you finish all the quests there. So I'm going to be working on that. Right now I've got a couple fountains and long term I definitely want to merge those up. So slowly but surely we're going to be saving those and keeping it going. Oh yeah. Hey, well thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button for the like and stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and strategies coming your way. And if you can make it, tune in Friday at 3 p.m. New York time at the very beginning of the event to see the first 45-60 minutes of this merge in action and Saturday at 2 p.m. New York time. Thanks again everybody. Happy merging. Take care. Peace.